hello 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 everybody i hope you all are doing well we are continuing off where we were and we are just gonna continue climbing the tower and dodge every single monster that we see because i am focused i'm focusing progressing in the story you guys don't need to see me fight every single monster i know that some people get annoyed by that you don't need to see me um farm up monsters at all yeah you really don't you really don't I'm pretty much just trying to show off the main story for this playthrough. Because you know what? Secretly. Oh, I'll probably have to tell you the secret after this cutscene. So hold, hold on to that. Here it comes. Like I was saying, secretly, I want to be able to just play the game without worrying about needing to record. It's Monoblos! Watch out for its horn attack! It can dive on the ground to height too. Plus a hold up in this place after it was abandoned. Alright, we fought Diablos and now we're fighting a Monoblos. Two horns and now one horn. Um, probably hammer. I feel like most things that look hard shelled, of course. Probably not like a hammer too much. Oh, it's also speed, so we probably should switch out Gamma. Yeah, thank you guys so much for deciding to watch this video. This is a really, really fun game. Like, if you like Pokemon, you're gonna love this game. And you might even love this more than Pokemon. As blasphemous as this might be, because this game, I do have to say, is like 10 times better than Pokemon. Like, everything all around it, it just feels so much better. You don't have to watch your monster fight. You fight with your monster. How awesome is that? Seriously. Of course, some people may agree or disagree. And that's clearly up to you. The one thing you cannot argue, though, is that there is a free demo for this game, both on PC and Switch. So you can play the demo, try it out. And, yeah. When you are done playing the demo, and you do, if you decided to get the full game, you can actually transfer your progress from the demo to the main game. So that way you're not wasting any time, you're actually playing the actual real game. But yeah, I think, for me personally, get it on PC. Get this game on PC. You're gonna have the fullest experience as possible. But that's of course if your PC can actually run this game. If you have a Switch and don't have a good PC, then, you know, Switch is your option. And you can also find, like, amiibo cards and get all the cool Laird armor that's only specific for the Switch. Gosh darn it. I would love some of those Laird armor onto my onto the PC version. Especially since the amiibo, card, uh, amiibo figures I got for Stories 2 came in. Oh yeah, wait, Arc Shock doesn't do critical against an enemy that's down like this. Oh well, so at least it's free hit. But yeah, I've had like more hours on just the demo of this game than most games that I've paid for that was like $60. It's kind of disappointing. Like, there was a game I paid for that was $60, played it for 6 hours, and then I just never got went back to it. It just was... Uh, I guess the value of it kind of went away, sadly, pretty quickly. I'm not going to say what the game was. I kind of want to just forget it exists and maybe one day play it when they fix a bunch of bugs for it. So let's do our ride. And then let's pay attention to what he does, because I think he does power now. But if I'm not sure, I like to use my right skill. So yeah, he does power, so I should switch over to one of the speeds. And yeah, not too long ago... This game had its first free update. The one of many that are gonna come to this game. And then many, many more that we don't know that's planned yet. Oh, we don't know. We just don't know. But this game, they definitely are taking a lot of care into it. Uh, what am I trying to do? Oh, yeah, okay. So, well, he's already doing speed. Yeah, this game, the developers did lots of care into it. The Switch version could be debatable of how they could have done it better for the frame rate's sake. But for PC version, 
is a chef's kiss. <laughs> this game. Freaking fantastic. It's the only thing I've been playing, really. It's the only thing I've been wanting to play. And then in a couple of weeks from this time um, I'm recording this video, it's gonna be a couple other games I wanna play that comes out. But, oh, it's gonna be so tempting not to play this game any more than I have to. I'm hoping before then, I'll have finished recording the playthrough of this game for the story. And then I can just play this on my own enjoyment. And that way I can just focus on the other two games that I plan on playing. Which are the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles and Summer Wars 5. And play their story. Uh, what was his, what was his mode? I completely forgot what his default attacks were. Ah, that's right, speed. What the heck, Nursilla? Why are you using power? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I haven't seen Roberto's uh, kinship skill yet. I feel like I usually just see it. <laughs> well, we might see it now, because I'm actually might this actually might fill up his gosh. Because he has a pretty cool kinship. Oh, he has to get to level 3. That's right. Alright, he's gonna go down with this technical. Maybe. Hopefully. Man, this Toby Kadachi armor that I'm wearing is pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of the hat, but it's not a bad hat either. Oh my gosh, Venom Blast. I've, I've not seen that for my Nasilla yet. I mean, it looks freaking disgusting. <laughs> so Venom Blast is not, is actually... Well, I, it's, I don't think it's a Nacella move. I added it in from another monster, and it fits perfectly when it does its stinger. Alright, let's take him out. Do I have anything specific? Nah, we'll just do a normal, normal attack, I guess. Roberto is actually pretty close to his kinship. Oh, but we don't get to see it just quite yet. Well, maybe when we find another monster that can actually last long. <laughs> yeah, because right now we're level 38. And that is... Uh, looks like some strong monsters have moved into the ruins. We shouldn't hang out. Let's keep pushing. Yeah, um, I'm level 38. That's definitely higher than I was when I reached her on the switch. But also, it's a lot higher than what most people are when they get to this part. And it's because I AFK farm XP from the trial quest. And I do that just so I can quick finish things like these hermitars here, but I'm not going to touch them. Uh, there's nothing on that side. Yeah, along the way here, there's gonna be some monsters that are a bit of an annoyance. So this one literally blocking the way, but a gameth here could be able to roar them so we can just walk through them. Man, what was this tower used for? It's a huge tower. I mean, this can't be the like hundred thousand or oh, whatever floor tower in stories one. Stories 1, there was a giant tower, and you had to claim it, and each floor was different monsters and different challenges, and you can unlock good things and good monsters from doing it. So I don't know if that might be it. Excuse me, get out the way, especially you insects, you definitely do not want to fight a gamut. You're gonna get stomped out of existence. Yeah, on the Switch version, I recently got to the part where- Oh no, don't touch me. I freaking swear. Now is not the time. No butt touches. Yeah, on the Switch version, I got to the part where I fight Glavenus. Uh, spoiler, I guess. <laughs> I mean, he's not too much of a spoiler. He's not- and he's been in like trailers, so everyone knows he's in there. Most everyone knows. And if you don't know what Glavenus is, he's a- Pretty much a T-Rex. Alright, that's cool, yeah? Well, guess what? He has a sword for a tail. A great sword for a tail. 
Not just a regular sword, a great sword for a tail. And you, if you think that wasn't badass enough already, he can use his mouth to char- Oh no, we're gonna fall again. He's gonna use his mouth to charge up the great sword to do a f like a blast attack. And there was a very sad happening. I was going, I was trying to farm him. I was looking around and I thought I found his eggs. Turns out I turned up the brightness of my screen. It's not his eggs. They were all Nagakuga eggs. They were all Nagakuga eggs. I spent like 40 minutes farming and I thought they were all the eggs. It was so sad. But man, farming up some stuff in this game can be pretty fun. I think it's just Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is pretty equi pretty much equivalent to farming, farming resources and stuff in the game now. Alright, uh, nope, get in drone, nope, 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 get out of my face, don't want to fight you. You guys are pretty annoying to fight too. Let's bash our head in. Hello? Goodies? Please give me goodies. I know there are a lot more goodies around here too. Oh, how do I get there? Well, I actually do need to get there, don't I? I was thinking if I might accidentally skip it. Uh, what is this lead to? I think the first one I took was actually the right way, but I needed to go a different direction. But I, I want to see what this one leads to. <coughs> Lamora 6th floor. Well, there's nowhere else for me to go on this one, though. So literally, I'm going to have to go back up. Or down, to be exact. <coughs> yeah, what is your guys' uh, favorite layered armor? Or just favorite armor set? Because, like, I really like using this Toby Kadachi armor. It's pretty cool looking. It's not too far out there. It's pretty lightweight looking, too. If I don't want to be using heavy armor. My heavy armor, layered armor, would probably be the Glavenis one. And its default colors are actually very cool. Like, like I tried changing the default colors, but I d ended up not doing it because the colors were just already so good looking. <laughs> and like all the other colors did not do it justice, sadly enough. Oh, there's a blue chest. There should be a jump point around here somewhere. There's another Monoblo. Oh, there's another blue chest and there's another Monoblo. Alright, let me see what's in this blue chest. Because I can't remember. I don't know if it's worth getting. But we'll see. Oh, come on. Gotta, uh, gotta change monsters here. Oh, Kajiro, jump! Show me the way. Strength Nutrient. Nutrient Mint. I actually don't really know, to be quite honest, what the point of the Nutrients are. I feel like I never use them. Well, like, I see them pop up in my menu when I go in my backpack, but I don't see the worth in them. Or why I need them? Question mark? Yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> oh, but man, we've been going up and down these elevators. And, I, uh, yep, I'm in the right one. Because there's a catavan. You know you're in the right one when there's a catavan. Let's grab these chests along the way, too. Because, uh, it's hard to ignore a chest that's just calling out to you. Leave me alone, Gen Drones. I really don't like fighting the raptor-looking ones or something, or compi-looking ones, whatever dinosaur-looking ones you like to call them. Oh, there's a chest here. How do I get... Oh, yeah, that, there's a jumping spot. That's right. It took me a little bit to figure that out on the Switch. But there's actually a jumping spot on here. Uh, I already fought a Monoblos. I don't know if I fought these bugs yet. So, they might be of annoyance. Oh, there it is. Oh, darn it. He got me. <laughs> yeah, I haven't fought these bugs yet, unfortunately. Let's just run away. I don't want to make you guys sit through this. <laughs> run, Gameth, run! Take those slow little steps away! Oops, didn't mean to wreck everyone's ears here. 
So yeah, normally I would just try and fight them. So that way at least I've fought them once so I can uh, farm up the resources. And I try to do that between sessions too. So that way I can just quick finish everything and it won't be too much of, too much of a problem. But that's not happening now. Yeah, I can only really record stuff on Thursdays. Well, starting Thursday through Sunday. Almost at the top. Yeah, starting Thursdays and then all the... Oh, there's a Black Diablos. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I can record stuff. Uh, anytime but before that and not really. <laughs> not really at all. The roof's right up ahead, buddy. Just one final push. Oh, I'm gonna push this thing up so there's no no square. It's definitely power, right? I feel like I've been going away from like my first thought. But he's definitely power. I'm gonna be confident in this one. Yeah. <laughs> Screams power. Excuse me, don't use Thunder Breath. Who did I, who did I, t oh, it was a Kazu. I gave you Thunder Breath from a Kazu. Ooh. I'm actually curious to see what Thunder Breath looks like for him. Hopefully we get a chance to do it, but right now, no. Wait, wasn't he doing a head-to-head -head with someone? Oh, well now he's doing a head-to-head. -head. I thought he was doing a head-to-me head to me in the previous one. All right, let's break his horns. I don't know what benefit there is to doing that, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I think the only downside of me rushing everything through right now is that I won't get the resources really that I need to upgrade stuff. Uh, who's he after? I'll use Thunder Breath. I wanna see what Thunder Breath looks like for you. Oh my gosh, that looks pretty cool for uh, to be cut out to. There it goes. Think you can get it above ground again? Oh, for sure. Got lots of sonic bombs. Here you go, buddy. Got a special message from you inside this tiny ball. <laughs> Got the show. How do we roll, buddy? Kinda feels like my Tobinkadachi is probably not the right person to be fighting a, a black, black Diablos right now. But what can I do? Hmm. Could try putting him to sleep. Don't really see it happening too often, but let's see what happens. Oh, it's satisfying seeing hammer moves like that. Because at the end, it always feels so devastating. Ineffective, yep. Uh, do I have... I have Lagia. Lagia... Lagiana? Miss, uh... Miss Lag? Yeah, let's see how effective speed is against this, uh... Black Diablos. Man, it was fun. It's fun seeing a Black Diablo. Oh, get ready. Black Diablos are even more aggressive than the regular kind. Okay, let's see now. Ah, uh, we did speed against power. So it's changed away from power. So... I don't know, to be honest. Let's guess. Let's say he became speed. So we're gonna use technical. Oh, it's a good guess right there. I could always look at what my the AI is using, but it might be wrong too. Uh, Zamtrios, because I use Nersilla a lot in the Switch, and I would like to see something different. Alright, we'll just do a double kingship attack. I 
think this is actually the last fight before we move on to a different area. I don't think there's anything else after this Black Diablos. We'll see. Some interesting stuff is going to be happening very soon. Oh my gosh, look at all that damage. And it downed itself too. Well, can't waste this opportunity. Let's smash its face in. Oh, hold on. Some trios? Smash his face in. Don't put ice armor on yourself just yet. Oh yes, yeah. spin, 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 hit! Yeah. Oh, it's one of my favorite parts about hammer. The build up all the way up to that hit, that last hit. Come on, some trios. I have no name for you because I can't think of a name for it. Shark frog thing. Oh, he's doing ice armor. No, I need him to help me. Oh, wait. Is he back to normal? That means he's probably power again. Ah, uh, Legiana. Get back here. Because if things don't work out, we're going to be losing a heart. Oh yes, he went back to power. It's a good thing I noticed that last moment. And hopefully, Roberto could probably heal me, please? Ooh, let's ride our Legiana. And he doesn't look like he's going to be doing anything specific, so let's use our kinship skill. So that way we can delay him to whatever he's doing. Oh, what a beautiful creature with beautiful colors and frightful ice spears. Ooh, it's down. There we go. Uh, what kind of skills do you have? Uh, nothing we can do because we just use our kinship skill. Oh, he did two hits. Where did that second hit come from? I'm impressed. I know a full-fledged hunter who would have struggled against a monster like that. And I and Ratha are waiting for us to the rooftops. Well, yes, it's because of our power of friendship that we were able to overcome anything. Because in this game, power of friendship! Alright, seems like we're already going into another cutscene. So we only took like three steps. Oh, damn it. You would not fit through that last door.
some ruin. Yes, Rafa finally flies. It's the pits just when everything seemed doomed. The kinship between you and Rafa saves the day. His once weak wings said to hold the power of ruin beats powerfully through the air, carrying you both to safety. Edna realizes that the time has come to take you to a certain place. So yeah, now we can fly and yeah, just gotta make sure I fix up the settings after this. Good for you, Ratha. You finally got your wings. Kaju Kajuju, there's somewhere I'd like to you to go with me. It's the pit that Red and I went to investigate. The place where Red... Well, you know by now. When we get there, I'd like to tell you more about what happened and about Red. Alright, here we are flying on Ratha. And before we go over to the Pit of Remembrance, we're actually going to end it here. <laughs> Yeah, so remember to like, comment, share, or subscribe. And until then, guys, I will see you all later. Goodbye.